Hi guys, welcome back. It's Tommy with another StarCraft Remastered replay cast from the South Korean leather. Once again, a Terran versus Protoss. Once again, a short replay with Flash. But let me just start by introducing his um, opponent right here. We have spawning in the upper left in the tier. It is Bong Sil Fan. Very high APM here for him. And his opponent, of course, in the lower left in the yellow. It is Flash with his AK. So as you can see from the timer, every time I see a short replay from a Flash versus a Protoss, I immediately think about one of his timing pushes, about of his rushes with a bunker, about his pushes with the tanks, with the vultures, even goliaths have been added into his latest uh, tactics and even some turrets have also been added by him versus the Protoss, so quite a fast variety here for him versus the Protoss greedy gameplay as you can see from the Terran, quite inspiring gameplay here by Flash as I believe I have casted around uh, 12 to 15 timing pushes by him and only once he really had a very bad one and he actually lost that one so it's of course available here onto this channel but the other the other games of course always successful timing pushes mainly due to the fact that the protos don't have speed legs upgraded for their zealots and of course due to the fact that they have invested a lot into their third base but yeah let's get back into this game we have the production type here in the upper left part we see a very normal build order here by flash Supply Depot into Barracks and then Gas, so pretty standard stuff by him. We also see only one pylon here for this Protoss, and this is exactly what I told you. The greedy gameplay by the Protoss once again is being shown here onto a 4 spawning location map. Of course, the fact that it is a 4 spawning location map gives an advantage towards the Protoss to be greedy, to also believe that he is lucky, but sadly for him, Flash actually going straight towards the right position. Of course, if, if it would have been an unlucky scout by Flash, the Protoss would have had some time to prepare some defenses to have some Dragoons at home. But with that, we see the SCV now moving forward here for Flash. And if you ask me, this is very likely going to turn into a bunker rush, or it should be turning into a bunker rush with some SCDs, with some um, Marines, with some even one or two Vultures to support this bunker rush. But I could be wrong, of course. Let's see the reaction from Flash. Some gas is getting mined. There we have the factory. First, Marines are actually getting produced, and we actually see a, on a hole, and here is the factory. This is the, the Pylipo. So let's see if it, did, it is going to be a timing push. One Marine already moving out quite far out. There is the timing from the gateway. Very, very late timing. He sees the cybernetic score. One Zealot should be perhaps produced here by the... Um, actually, it's a second gateway for him, so it looks like he's going to invest into some units very, very soon as the first marine is also moving out the second one here as well more marines are getting produced the factory is about to get finished and flash is still mining but i believe last cast at around the 3 minute and 30 second mark he decides to move out the protos already reacting quite with some panic move here already moving out with three probes so intending to lose some mining time in order to push this back but now there's a high ground for the terran and we do see now the 3 minute and 30 second mark. Let's just see if Flash is going to react with some SCVs that are being pulled. And indeed, that's exactly what he's doing. So remember, if you're a Terran and if you're on a bunker rush, the 3 minute and the 30 second mark should be the mark for you to move out. There's the Vultures to support the push. Another Marine is getting produced, even yet another one. But we do have two uh, Dragoons here for the opponent. So in comes the push. There we have one Zealot. But SCV is also even blocking the entrance here. He's going to even buy some time against the two Dragoons. He will be very likely sacrificed. Or oh, let's just see what's going to happen here. As in comes the push. The Marines are in the front. The Zealots here is nicely protected by the probes. But in comes the meat shield with the SCVs in the front. Some bunkers will also be very likely be produced here by Flash. I believe Flash is just waiting for some reinforcements. Now in comes the push. Two Dragoons, one Zealot. Some probes are being pulled. And he goes straight for the Marines. One is already getting dropped. Great surround attempt here by the Protoss. Very, very nice position here by him. The SCVs are attacking the Dragoon. A good micro by him. The bunker is also getting produced here. So perhaps the Protoss should be able to attack the SCV as more and more units are getting being lost. The Marines have already fallen. So the bunker now pretty much in vain actually here for Flash. So in the end, a good defense by the Protoss. But at what cost? He did lose quite some units. And one Marine is actually being left alive. Some SCVs could block the entrance here as they're pretty much now just uh, repairing each other the marine once again getting protected by the bunker and in the end some scvs will be actually pulled back other scvs are just pretty much repairing each other as the nexus is taking more and more damage and we have the five minute mark another marine is moving here forward and mines are now getting um, done by bash 
and we also see range getting done here for the dragoons very very hard to micro indeed versus this great push the nexus is taking more and more damage very soon the protoss might have to react if he's not reacting the nexus is very likely going to fall for him but there are three SEVs here ready to repair nexus is dropping more and more range should be finished very soon there's a tank for him and even another expansion but with that it looks like the protoss might sacrifice his uh, nexus right here he's taking more and more damage quite a hard situation here for him as now finally range has finished pretty much on time when the nexus has been killed so sadly here for the protoss losing the expansion right here did of course cause some damage towards the push and some units have been lost of course by flash mainly the marines the messages have also been sniped and once again he leaves always leaves those two vultures out and i believe he has the mine ability so let's see what's going to happen he did leave some mines here forward of course the protoss is going to try to trick to pull the mines a very smart move here indeed he has quite a healthy number of dragoons six of them just needs to be careful not to step into those mines and yeah flash of course react immediately with his own expansion and there we have another nice uh, stutter step forward here by the dragoons and yeah he's just pretty much of course thinking that it would have been more and more um mines out onto the map but of course flash now just hiding his vultures a very smart move here indeed by the portals but remember this will cost him of course some time he might invest into a robotics facility bay with some observers so quite a hard hard game here for him great micro however moving those dragoons back and forward very nice to be seen here just like a dance a great dance move and actually he could be successful to snap on vulture very smart move indeed by him as he now knows the position of the vultures and with that it's a pretty good position he will of course very likely stay back to defend the expansion against more vultures speed is not getting done here for flash he's reacting with one third so he's expecting perhaps a harassment by the protoss there we have some tanks in the back worker wise we see flash having almost 10 more workers than his opponent there's another factory that slowly but still be closing towards the 10 minute mark so once again a interesting game we have here indeed Protoss perhaps a little bit behind economic wise as the dragoons are just moving here forward trying to check if there are more mines and one hidden vulture here in the back but still no speed getting upgraded here for flash as he's going into more and more tanks so very soon we might see him move out once again the engineering bag is already floating forward there we even have some two marines flash is nicely guarding his investment here as it's now 11, 11 more workers for flash versus the opponent vulture might get snapped he's just checking the waters here in case the protoss is going for another expansion or not so yeah there's the barracks there's the engineering bay floating giving good vision here for flash and there we have the transition into three more factories for flash yeah at around the eight minute mark he's going to more and more of a mech production so very soon we might see massive amounts of vultures massive amounts of tanks perhaps some um, golites will be added just to counter the shuttle gameplay here by the opponent but of course it's currently just one observer and one shuttle a reaver might be produced very soon yes indeed there is the reaver for his opponent so let's see how games the game is going to unfold is flash going to try to move forward what exactly is it such a short game it should of course be a success a successful timing push by him what exactly is going to happen as some units are moving forward to clear more and more mines and yeah in comes it should be of course a push by flash there we have the speed now getting done for the vulture so i believe as soon as the tanks will reach the newly established base from the opponent speed should of course be done there we have the observer he sees the movement here by flash flash once again with one gas towards his SCV, and he sees of course that he's going straight towards the newly established base at the 12 o'clock position so perhaps this observer of course giving great informal great uh, important information here towards the protoss seeing of course that it is a move out with some tanks one tank interesting enough getting sieged up here by flash so flash of course thinking about all the possibilities here sieging and unsieging his tanks it's really really important to do this and there we have the big engagement the tanks are in the back only guarded by uh, marines and actually now bongs feel pretty much deciding to quit this game i perfectly understand him it was a great early game here by flash pretty much punishing the expansion immediately also taking some damage but i believe bongs feel Bong Seal fan has done his um, math, has done his calculation, 
And after seeing so so many vultures, knowing of course that so so many factories were in the back ready to produce the massive amounts of mo vultures needed in the front to protect the tanks. There we have the Scotland. Interesting, the reaver hasn't been done yet for the second reaver. So yeah, with that flash, of course would have had the upper hand so once again a successful timing push by him like i told you this could be very inspiring for you in case you're a terran struggling versus a protos you just have to be aggressive early on and not not turtle up at home and of course be careful to micro your units accordingly and with that you will very likely be successful and let's not forget that there was a lucky scout for flash into the early game so if it would have not been a scout it could have still been a great uh, move out at around the 10 minute mark with tanks with vultures and so on but yeah still a great great tactic versus the protos and actually many many more re similarly replaced here from flash available against south korean pros doing this and being successful so yeah, i hope you guys get inspired by this thank you guys so much for watching this is tommy signing out